we have many viewers who are young and really want to have a career in the maritime space. What do, what do you say to people who come up to you and ask you for advice? Do you give general advice to people who really want to make an exciting career in shipping or the maritime industry? Yeah, you know, one of the things I tell them is there's a lot of different areas. It's one of the best things about the maritime industry. You know, I, I, I teach at a college in central North Carolina. You know, our, our mascot's a camel. So it's the furthest away from a ship as you can get. And yet I tell people all the time, but shipping is, is a great pot potential. It doesn't matter what field you're going into. You know, there are ports up and along the East Coast that are growing and developing. The Port of Savannah in Georgia is one of the fastest growing ports in the United States. And so there, there, there's an area in there for everybody, whether you're a business technology, uh, 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 even like a history guy like me, I tell my historians what, what makes his, historians great is they look at big pictures. They look at all these elements and can make decisions. And so, yeah, I think there's a lot of potential. And the other aspect is it's not just in your country, it's, it's international. You know, a lot of shipping firms have offices all around the world. And if you're willing to travel and go, Take that job for a few years, go, you know, work in a port in, in maybe over, you know, in Asia and Africa or South America, come back, put you in a really good position. Uh, one of the biggest areas for shipping, obviously, is security. Cybersecurity is, is, is such a paramount issue right now. Uh, you know, uh, the finance side, the business side, there, there's so many areas that, that are really uh, developing for shipping. I, I think it's one of the big growth markets. It gets you in an international business community with lots of opportunities around the world. So true. And just the last question, given that you love history, I'm, I guess you read quite a few books. What's your top three or top five favorite books on shipping for people who really want to dive into these topics? So uh, one of the books I love is a book called The Shipping Man, which is a novel, uh, which is a, a great book. And, and the author's name's escaping me. I apologize. But uh, he did a trilogy of books, and it's great because it, it, it's a novel, but it really gives you the intricacies of modern shipping, what it means to be a ship owner, what it means to do the financing. You know, I can teach you all about financing a ship, and you'll be asleep in no time, and it's just, it, it, it's, it's terrible. But when you dramatize it, I, I, I love that book a lot. Uh, we mentioned it before, Mark Levinson's The Box, I think is a great one. Uh, I, I think that one really captures how a technology flips an entire industry on its ears. Uh, I think that one more than anything else captures the big change that takes place. I mean, there's so many, you know, how do you standardize a shipping container? It's not easy. What, what, how long should it be? 10, 20, 40? We don't know. And, you know, and you got to come up uh, with these ideas and the hurdles uh, associated with it. And then I apologize for my Americanness on this, but uh, there's a book called uh, uh, The Way of the Ship which details the history of the American maritime environment, which I think is a really interesting one written by Alex Rowland. Uh, it covers not just the ocean, but the inland waterways, which I think is really important is, is how does maritime influence everything. And, and the favorite thing about that book is he has like five themes that run through the book. So he talks about, you know, government policy. He talks about technology. He talks about economics. Uh, he talks about social issues. He talks about labor issues. So there's all these elements that are in there and, and they all come together. And he has these chapters that are almost like vignettes that look at individual, maybe people or a technology or a topic. And it kind of weaves you through almost 400 years of American history, but with a maritime slant to it. And if I could put one more out there, I'm going to throw one more out there because I just thought about it, is uh, a good buddy of mine by the name of Lincoln Payne wrote a book called Sea and Civilization, which is a maritime history of the world, which is a massive book. It's huge, but probably the best book I can think of out there that really captures the uh, maritime history of the world. I mean, everything from the Phoenicians to you know the creation of the modern cruise ship. And uh, it, it's just a great book that gives you that maritime history of the world and how connected we are. I can give you way more, Christopher, but I'm going to stop right there. <laughs>